Week four in the NFL, and that means it's time for Picks with David. We've got five big picks for you for this week, so let's get started right away with our first selection in Buffalo. The 3-0 Miami Dolphins go into 2-1 Buffalo Bills. And you know, this right here is definitely a big-time matchup in the AFC East. The upstart Miami Dolphins are looking to dethrone the Buffalo Bills in the division. Buffalo struggled early in the season at the New York Jets, but has taken back their offensive firepower the last two weeks. Miami, lots of offensive firepower last week as they put up 70 points against a downtrodden Buffalo uh, Denver Bronco team. And so, you know, looking at this game, I think that Buffalo will do a good job of holding down some of the running game that Miami displayed last week against Denver. I expect Miami to be high flying through the air. Miami nearly beat the Buffalo Bills in the playoffs last year, and they didn't have Tua Tagovailoa at that time. I'm going to take the Buffalo Bills to lose to the Miami Dolphins today in Buffalo. The Baltimore Ravens and the Cleveland Browns in a big matchup of the AFC North. Baltimore struggled against the Indianapolis Colts last week, so I'm sure they're going to have a lot to say in this particular game. But unfortunately, Cleveland is not going to be at full strength today as Deshaun Watson is going to be out with a shoulder injury. And it's really unfortunate because I really thought that he was starting to look like the Houston Texans, Deshaun Watson. And so, unfortunately, you know, they're not going to be at full strength, but we will get to see the rookie, Dorian Thompson Robinson, starting for the Cleveland Browns at quarterback. Now, he is a dynamic player who is mobile and can run the ball. If he doesn't make mistakes, Cleveland's got a real chance to win this game. But because Deshaun Watson is not playing in the game, I have to take the Baltimore Ravens. First place battle in the NFC South, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers take on the New Orleans Saints. And you know, the, the Buccaneers are coming off of a, you know, pretty close loss, to be honest, against the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, I really thought that they were going to play a lot better. Their defense was very good against Philadelphia. The Saints defense has been very good throughout the year. It's both these teams' offenses that have struggled to get on track throughout the season thus far. Derek Carr is supposedly going to start for the New Orleans Saints. He's got that sprained AC joint in his throwing shoulder. So if he goes down at any point in time in the game, they'll turn the ball over to Jameis Winston. Now, Baker Mayfield has played pretty well throughout the year so far. He did not look very good at a couple times against Philadelphia, but they've got such a strong defensive front there, whereas the Saints have a lot of good defense spread out throughout the team. I think Tampa Bay will have a little bit more success against the Saints than they did against the Eagles, and the Saints, which faltered down the stretch and let a 17-point lead against the Packers slip away. I think they're going to overcome that. They're playing at home. I'm going to take the New Orleans Saints to beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sunday night football, it's the Kansas City Chiefs against the New York Jets. And you know, this game was scheduled in advance because they thought that Aaron Rodgers was going to be there and going to play. Instead, we get Zach Wilson. And after the first game of the season, the Jets offensively have faltered and have not looked good, but they do have a really good defense. And they're going to have to rely on that defense to make some plays, get turnovers, and stop this high-powered Kansas City Chiefs offense. Now, it helps that they're playing at home, but unfortunately, they're playing the world champions. And the champs come in after putting up big numbers against the Chicago Bear team, you know, and everybody's big story is, oh, Taylor Swift's going to be there. But let's talk about the football game itself. Kansas City has started to utilize their running game, which I think helps really set up the pass with play action, 
getting the ball down the field. Expect Kelsey to have another big game with his girlfriend in the stands. But also see Patrick Mahomes spread the ball out and get it to his array of so many different receivers. The young player that is emerging that's new this year is Rasheed Rice. He's caught a couple of touchdowns, leads the team in receptions thus far. Let's watch and see what he can do against the Jets, obviously taking the Kansas City Chiefs to win on Sunday Night Football. Monday Night Football, it's the Seattle Seahawks at the New York Giants. Seattle started the season with a bit of a thud in the first week of the season against the L.A. Rams, but they have come on strong the last couple of weeks. The Giants got embarrassed against the Cowboys, you know, in their opening game and had to have a big comeback against the Arizona Cardinals to win that one. Unfortunately, they played on a shortened week against the 49ers, who's probably the best team in the NFC right now, so we haven't seen the best of their offense for the Giants, they're playing at home. They've had some time to get ready after the playing the Thursday night game last week. So hopefully we'll see a lot better, uh, you know, effort out of the New York Giants. Hopefully they're going to have Saquon Barkley playing in the game. Um, you know, but I like the Seattle Seahawks to go on the road. Their defense travels, and I like the running game that they have there. Both these teams were playoff teams last year. I think Seattle is at least as good as they were last season, where the Giants look like they've slipped back a little bit. I'll take the Seattle Seahawks to win the game on Monday Night Football. So there you have it, Week 4 Picks with David. I want to thank everybody for joining me for another edition right here on YouTube and Facebook. Be sure to like and subscribe the video so you don't miss any of my picks or videos as we go throughout the NFL season. Good luck on your bets this week and your fantasy football teams, and we'll see you Thursday for another edition right here of Picks with David.